Hello everyone, my name is Marina, I am in Verona and in this video I would like to share with you my top 10 list of sites that I recommend you to visit while staying in Verona. So let's go! Number 10. Porta Borsari is an ancient Roman gate which dates back to the 1st century AD. The gate, made of local white limestone, was the city's main entrance and was richly decorated. As soon as you pass through the gate, you'll find yourself in Corso Porta Borsari, a street of Roman origin. This street is one of the most elegant features of Verona. Now it's the second main shopping street of the historical center. The original pavement is still there. And what is more impressive is that shops, bars and restaurants are located inside of beautiful old historical buildings and even palaces. Number 9. Giuliet's House or Casa di Giulietta, one of the most visited tourist attractions of Verona, thanks to the world-known William Shakespeare's play Romeo and Juliet. As you make your way through the narrow archway, you cannot help but notice millions of love vows written on the walls and the ceiling of it by romantics from all over the world. To take a picture with a bronze statue of Juliet, you will probably have to stand in line. There is a possibility to make an inside visit of the house delighting with its beautiful Gothic style from the 14th century, as well as going out to the balcony pretending you are waiting for your Romeo. Hundreds of enamored couples attach the padlocks with their initials on to the iron gate, thus swearing everlasting love. Superstitious seekers of true love are advised to get ready for some touching, as rubbing Juliet's right breast is believed to bring luck in love. By the way, love knows no age. Number 8. Piazzale Castel San Pietro the hill was inhabited since Roman times. Due to its strategical position, it attracted occupants and conquerors from other countries. After all, in the 19th century, the Austrians demolished the remains of the castle and the church, which were built before, and began the construction of military barracks fortress, which is still visible. Even though the castle is not open to public, you can still take a walk up the hill and enjoy Verona's spectacular skyline from its square, called Piazzale. Piazzale Castel San Pietro is one of the best places to enjoy sunset. Number 7. Lamberti Tower or Torre dei Lamberti It is located in the heart of Piazza delle Erbe, the former Roman Forum of Verona. The tower dates back to the 12th century. Since then, it was eventually restored, added and raised higher. In the 13th century, two bells were installed. The smaller, called Marangona, served to signal fires and the larger, called Regno, was used to gather the town council and call the citizens to defend the city in case of attacks. In 1403, a lightning struck the tower and knocked off its top. After this, it was restored, becoming the highest building of the city, 84 meters high. The clock was installed in the 18th century. To enjoy the city center, numerous red roofs and picturesque squares from above, you are welcome to make an inside visit of Torre di Lamberti. You can get to the very top using 238 steps or an elevator. Number 6. Ponte Pietra, which means Stone Bridge. At the foundation of Verona, in 90 BC, a wooden bridge was built in this place, to cross the Adige River. Later, in 100 BC, Romans would replace it with a stone bridge. The bridge was destroyed by floods many times and restored again and again. Having been blown up during World War II and completely ruined, the Arch Bridge was rebuilt again in 1957 with original materials. Ponte Pietra is a piece of art of Roman times, the oldest bridge in Verona and pride of the city. 
so these were five sites out of my top 10 list. Sincerely, the video turned out to be longer and more informative than I had expected, so I'm going to divide it into two parts. To see the rest of the sites that I have prepared for you, please check my next video, Top 10 Sites of Verona Part 2, which is coming soon. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!